Here's what my kids are having for lunch. Into a preheated thermos, I added some macaroni with veggie and meat sauce. No need to ask me for the recipe, you know I got you. They're also having some cheese straws. These are really good. For their fruits, they're going to have a half of a kiwi and some orange slices. For some sweet treats, I'm going to give them these Halloween gummy fruits. This is what they look like. My kids pretty much always have the same lunch. Can't forget their utensils and that's it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I will see you next time. Bye. Using your suggestions to make lunch for my particular kid. After her lunch review on her wrap with lettuce, so many of you suggested that I shred it. So she agreed to try it this way and we'll see if this is any better. Anytime I give her grapes, I always get a comment asking me to cut them. So we use the crinkle cutter today. I feel it's important to do a lunch review when she tries something new because her feedback definitely helps to create progress. If she can communicate the way that she feels about the food, it will help me to prepare it in a way that fits her particular tastes. Thanks so much for being with us on this journey. I hope you all have a particularly good day. Pack my nine-year-old's lunchbox for school with me. So I'm just taking the thermos part out and preheating that with some boiling water and setting it aside while I pack the fruit. So he is having some raspberries today. We all love raspberries in this house. And also some frozen melon balls. They will defrost by the time it is lunchtime. And then I'm popping in a cupcake. This is literally just a little silicone cupcake, um, which work really well in bento boxes. And then I'm putting in a stack of these Ritz crackers and some Virolife dairy-free cheese. Now I'm adding the hot part. So that's the spinach ravioli with sauce of choice was surprise, surprise, ketchup. Uh, then I'm putting in another little case so I can put his treat in there. And that is some dark chocolate pretzel balls. Um, so that's in there. And then I'm doing a chopped up baby cucumber and a mini orange pepper for his veggies. And that is his lunch all done. Closing it up and then I'm popping the little pod on the handle so that I can put a fork in there for him to eat his pasta with. I really hope you've been enjoying these lunchbox videos I'm doing. Um, I'm just hoping it gives inspiration. I know how hard it can be to come up with new ideas. I make three pack lunches Monday to Friday so I'm always looking for ways to make it a bit more interesting and exciting. So I hope that, that I bring some of that for you guys, for your kids. Have a great day everyone! Here's what my kids are having for lunch today. We have meatballs with marinara sauce. I'm trying to put as many as I can in this little box and I'm going to serve that with some Hawaiian rolls so they can make some sliders. And here are some googly eyes. No, they are not AirPods. Come on guys. And I also have some broccoli and carrots with a little bit of ranch dressing on the side. And for the fruit today, here we have cantaloupe and honeydew. I'm putting a little pick in there and that is it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I will see you next time. Bye. Some days I make regular sandwiches, others I pull out my sandwich sealer to make a homemade version of store-bought Uncrustables, which totally delight my kids. This works best with soft sandwich bread. Cut the rounds of the sandwich out first, then add your filling, assemble the sandwich, and press down really firmly to seal. You can also flip it over and press it down to seal again, ensuring that the filling stays where it's meant to be. These are a perfect size for little kids. You can pop them into a lunchbox or have them at home, and then I stick the crust into a bag and store them in the freezer until I am ready to use them. I love to cook eggs inside to make what we call toad in a hole. You can do a fried egg or a scrambled egg to make a little omelet, cut in half and serve up for the kids. Or you can cut the bread up and pop it into a baking dish topped with eggs and milk to make a French toast casserole, which is seriously delish. Good morning, guys. Today we're going to try something new. This is something I seen on the internet a while back and finally decided to try it. This was last night. I started preparing lunches, so I took crescent rolls and I just pinched two together, added pepperoni and string cheese, and then you want to roll them up really tight, squeeze all the edges together. You don't want any openings. Then throw them in the oven and cooked them according to the crescent roll package. This pizza sauce right here is the best in my opinion. It's good, but I like it so much because it'll last for four weeks in your refrigerator. All the jarred sauce is like seven days and you got to throw it out. Uh, once the pizza roll-ups came out of the oven, I just wrapped them in plastic wrap once they were cooled off 
and I throw them in my refrigerator. That way in the morning, I can just throw them straight into the microwave and heat them up and they'll steam inside of that plastic. I was worried about them drying out, so hopefully they come out good. Then I decided to peel the oranges. I was trying to be lazy, but couldn't do it. <laughs> And this comment right here, they're coming up. Everything is in my bio. Check my bio. This is Kaylin. She added that weird face, so ignore that. This is Cambry's. I have no idea what the pink stuff is all over it. And that pen is her student of the month pen. And here's Colton's, just a simple black. I hope you guys have a good day. Let's pack a lunch for my particular kid's last day of fourth grade. Today she wanted to have a tuna sandwich in the shape of dinosaurs. And then for her veggies, she wanted cucumber flowers and asked for some ranch to dip. I'm gonna crinkle cut her some apples and sprinkle them with cinnamon. And now I usually don't put candy in her lunch, but since today is the last day of school, I decided to give her a little special treat and give her some sour gummy worms. She didn't know I was putting these in there, so hopefully she likes her surprise. Now let's see if you can figure out the last riddle for this school year. What's as big as an elephant, but weighs nothing at all? Let me know in the comments and I hope you all have a particularly good day. Lunch today on day two of half term, I've got all four of them. So here is Coco's. She quite likes strawberries just left like that. And then she sort of holds the green bit and eats them. So we've got some twiglets, some peanut butter sandwich, and a little bit of cut up That's sweet so chili fun. vegan chicken fillets, the corn ones, and a smoothie. And Grayson's got a peanut butter sandwich, some chickpea puffs, and strawberry cut up. And then Zach has got a little bowl of bugle crisps and twiglets, some cucumber, some light cheese. He's got one of these cherry sours jellies. And then he's got a brioche um, like wrap with the corn sweet chili vegan chicken fillets inside and some sriracha mayo and ketchup. And then Wado has got um, a chocolate milk, peanut butter, toasted bagel, blueberries, cucumber, one of the jellies. This is the strawberry sours one, some bugles and twiglets. And I've just put one of the sweet chili vegan chicken fillets on the side um, just to see if he'll try. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. I am preheating my oven to 350 degrees. I took the sweet Hawaiian rolls, cut them in half, and I am adding an Italian blend cheese. I'm going to stick those in the oven for about 10 minutes, and while those cook, I'm going to prepare the rest. I'm just adding pizza sauce into these containers for dipping. They will get some trail mix, some fruit snacks, some grapes and these little compartments I'm going to do mini muffins it's chocolate chip and blueberry muffins a rice krispie treat and cheese both of the girls will get a yogurt Colton will not he does not like gogurts once those came out of the oven I just added some Italian seasoning to it and then I did stick them in the freezer for about five minutes to cool them off you don't really want to put anything hot in these containers because of all of the moisture, you don't want it to get on anything else. So I just broke those apart and closed it up. And it was ready to get packed up. I just added a reused Gatorade bottle that I put my own juice in and some sun chips and an ice pack. What I packed versus what they ate.